Okay, continuing on here in exercise number two, we're going to take a look at reviewing the 3D model and then also take a look at how we can create some cross sections from the model. So first let's just kind of take a look at the 3D model over here in view number two. I'm going to just left click my mouse into view number two to make it the active model or active view. And to zoom in and kind of get a closer look at this thing, you can use your wheel mouse on, your, on the mouse to zoom in and out of the model. You may also want to be able to rotate it around and kind of get a better view of what's going on with the uh, model. So we can do that by going up to the view rotation tool here. If you left click on that, you can find the rotate view tool and you click on that and it's going to put a crosshairs in the middle of your screen and what you can do is if you left click and hold your mouse button down near that crosshair and you just start moving your mouse around very slowly you can uh, rotate the model around and kind of get a, a better look at what's going on with the uh, with the 3D model and then if you want to find a spot that you want to focus on then you can just release your left mouse button and the uh, crosshairs will stay there and then, and then right click and it'll hold the view there for you. And then once again, if you want to zoom in and out, you can use the wheel mouse to zoom in and out, or you can use some of the view controls at the top of the screen. Okay, now we want to finish up here and talk about cross-sections. How do we look at cross-sections from this 3D model that we created? So the first thing I want to do is go over here into my default 2D model, and I'll left click in the view to make that active and we want to go up into corridors and we want to go over to dynamic sections and we want to open a cross-section view so we're gonna click on that and it's gonna ask us to locate our corridor or our alignment so in our case we're gonna select our corridor here so we have our corridor boundary object I'm just gonna select one of the grab handles here from our corridor object and then it's gonna be asking me to select or open a view so I need to create this cross-sectional view in a special view window. So we're going to go over here to number seven. I'm going to click on number seven down here at the bottom of the screen and you'll see view seven opens up and then what I want to do is left click inside of view number seven and that will change the view. So now we have a cross-sectional view defined for view number seven. Notice it says cross-section along the top, list the corridor and the corridor name and the alignment and the profile for the corridor. Also note the cross sections configured with the offsets, horizontal offsets from the alignment along the bottom as well as the elevations along the side here. So this is a special view window that only appears when you define a cross section view. So some other things to point out here, we see our cross section that we've created from our corridor which features our template drop, which is our concrete pavement and our shoulders and our grading and notice how the grading ties into our existing terrain model that we attached to our corridor when we started. So that's kind of cool that we can do that or that that shows up. Also within the cross-section view here we can navigate through the cross-sections to specific stations. So let's go here up to the view controls and we can see how we can navigate forwards and backwards um, along our corridor. So I'm going to come over here and press the, the right arrow to move up station and notice the blue line that tracks along in my plan view and my 3D view showing me where I'm at where this cross section is being uh, located at. I can zoom, I can go backwards, I can go all the way to the beginning, I can go all the way to the end. You can use these navigation tools to review your cross sections from the 3D model. Another thing we can do is we can go up to the view properties and we can adjust the vertical exaggeration. If you want to change the vertical exaggeration we can make this 5 for instance, press enter and then it exaggerates the uh, cross section vertically 5 times. You can also zoom in and out using the wheel, the wheel mouse on your, on your mouse if you have that. You can easily zoom in and out to the uh, cross sections as well. These are what we call the dynamic cross sections. Uh, they only appear in the specially defined cross-section view window. 
So this is how you would review the cross sections from the 3D model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.